Hello, welcome to Country Stitchers. I'm Liz. Hi, I'm Deb. Um, this is our mess. <laughs> <laughs> we we had one thing in mind, and we've gone to a second idea. And we're now progressing into our class for mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. We are going to be having class with Kathy Haberman. That's who's going to be on the TV right there behind us. Yes. Um, She's actually sitting on my side of the TV. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so if you would like to join along with us, you may. We're going to be um, taking one of her finishing classes. And in October, Deb and I were away <clears throat> at the shore and we decided we were going to stitch a particular piece to do this class with. And it was from the Cranberry Christmas pattern by Hands On Design. And we we stitched this design up here, um, mainly because as Deb was looking at the pattern and thinking about this idea, it fit the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> so, done deal. That's what we were going to do. Yes, this isn't the design that she talks about in the video, but like Liz said, whatever fits the hoop yep. works. And she's using basic fabric on hers, and we're going to do some of that. Um, mm -hmm. We actually have a couple different things going on now. Like I said, this isn't what we started with, but it's working really well, so we're going down that path. What Liz is so kindly leaving out <laughs> is that we've done this video once, and I screwed up royally. <laughs> completely. She, Sorry, Kathy, but I completely screwed up. <laughs> or she altered her thought pattern, and yeah. we're going to go with it. So you'll see that later. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, let's get started. Yes. And we're back. So, okay. all right. First Hopefully, you can hear two, Kathy and okay, us when we speak. Go ahead and take your four inch hoop. You guys took the okay. sticker off. I didn't all right, four inch hoop. Off. Sticker off but the outside of hoop. Them. Okay. The reason why I take my sticker off is <clears throat> we are going to stain it. I don't want it on. So, there. the four inch hoops, uh, well, any craft store, we <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I did it again. I have on a ring that's open and I keep okay. and then go threading ahead and myself. Through your hoop the outer hoop just a little bit we did do a and few extra um steps ahead of time because aside. just so we can keep up <laughs> okay now first thing we're going to do is take your piece of um, mat board and get a pen okay and we're going to be creating the part of the pin cushion that goes on the inside you're not going to see this but okay so go ahead and place this on your mat board and then trace around the inside of it okay which we did, and we put it yeah, on the inside, <laughs> and I actually have the next step on here. Right. And then we okay, and then take your paper seal it scissors with and go ahead and cut right on hot that glue mark. around the inside, and that's what and we've it's done okay there. The edges are a little and it um, fits dropped, flush, but you just want to cut right like on a drum, line. basically. You're making on the top. If you have, if you're more comfortable doing this with an exacto, you can do that. You will not see any of this. <laughs> If you do it properly, you won't. <laughs> then there's that. <laughs> Minor detail. Oh, mercy. And if you're, cutting, if you're not sure, like, oh, I can't cut on the line, but I'm cutting outside the line or inside the line, if you're going to err on any side, cut outside now, the line. Now, I will you share a tip, and a I'm more. sure a lot of you already know this, but when I cut heavy foam right. core, I cut it in large angles, so I'll cut the edge, this way, okay. this way, this way, this way, and then I'll angle cut the other ones until I've okay. trimmed it around. It makes it easier than trying to turn your scissor in that foam core. Right. True. Oh, <laughs> Very true. These are cute, these um, videos yeah. that Kathy does, and she has two students with her. Good deal. Okay. So then we're going to take this piece and fit it into our four inch hoop. Now, if you've got to force it a little bit, that's okay. What you really don't, you could kind of hear it all. We all that's, kind of went thunk. <laughs> that step we just showed you Is this on? when you pop it down. Yes. Yeah, awesome. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to push that foam core all the way to the bottom. So if it's on, it, I would definitely do this on the mm -hmm. tabletop. Did you guys push it down? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Stip. So if you turn it over, um, the foam core is not sticking up would you above like the, the, the uh, no, rim of the hoop. Thank you. It's just I got my surface. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes, it's not real pretty. There's gaps and there's holes, and that's okay because nobody's going to see that. So the next thing we're going to do Good. is we're going to run the hot glue right around the inside, just right where the, um, the foam core meets the 
I'll go ahead and do that. Sure. Uh, right where the foam core meets. So I'm just going to be working with fabric yeah, on this one. Meets the hoop. I think Liz is also. As am I. Yeah. Liz did hers correctly on our first video, and she'll show you that later. <laughs> it's beautiful. Drum roll. And I'll show you um, <laughs> something different. Right. Deb's actually is adorable. <laughs> Fell in the mud and came out smelling like a rose. <laughs> oh. Okay, then, then once you do that, you're just going to go ahead and, um, and let that dry. It doesn't take very long. I am Kathy's problem student. <laughs> No, it's not often that I use a hot glue gun in projects, but uh, in this, it does definitely help. <laughs> and it gets stringy. <laughs> stringy. So you yeah. said you yes, have it does. Before. Yes. Okay, this is like arts and crafts project. Okay, do we want to unplug that for now, sure. or I just don't want either of us to get a hot elbow. Mm. The other thing you can do, which I did the first time around, is. We'll gather your fabric around, around your piece um, inside out or backwards, <laughs> which is okay. no biggie because so you can convert that, it. Yeah, that was an easy fix. That was cute. It, um, dry. I turned it over to see if it was centered, and I was looking at the wrong side. <laughs> oh, what I had in mind. And we're just going to put it right in the middle here. Okay, that's what you just did. That's what I, you can just barely see that flash in the light there. There's a little piece of see-through. And then I'm going to put it on my batting. Really this is the double-sided tape. Um, this is the exact same kind that Kathy does use. Uh, did I order that from Amazon, I think, maybe? I think we did, And yeah. you can get different widths. Yep. Okay, and then go ahead and take your, um, peel it off. Okay, now can I see yours just real quick? Oh, yep, it's your... Um, don't you love that when you get you that glue nice all over you? Yep. Um, with the, the top edge. So we're just kind of coming over. And then Maybe I we put need mine to, like, on my batting. Just a little bit. After I, I took the tape off. And when you push now we're going to make it stick. It just yeah. pushed in a little bit. Yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. So let's actually then, before you peel, um, let's do something else so your hot glue has a chance to dry. So now is when, now we're going to do ours with fabric. So pick which fabric you're going to have for the top of your pincushion. Okay. So we're going to do fabric since we don't have the, the stitching done at this point. But while they're getting that kind of ready, um, I am going to say with this, especially if you use the dark, um, the, the chalk, this is the slate, 32 pound slate fabrics by Stephanie. If you do use that, you're gonna want to cut a piece of black cotton fabric to kind of use as a lining underneath it so that the lighter batting and uh, fiber fill will not kind of poke through it and, um, and kind of come through as white in, in the weave of the, the linen. So it'll kind of make it a nice dark um, it'll show dark through there. She and also painted her hoop, and okay. that was really so, that was really cute. Mm -hmm. Liz and I did not do that this time, but that would be a really cool option. And also, and just to use different fabrics, Liz and I are talking about this, and and Kathy and talks about it on the video that um, um, just really neat gifts, teacher gifts, um, bus driver gifts. All, you could use all kinds of fun fabrics. And then you Deb, if you get something with a little school theme. Yeah, and, the the and, yeah. and the other thing I was thinking, if you take it and you put um, so you your, cut around it. Um, where we just put that tape in here, okay, if you put a so magnet pretty. in here as well, um, because, yeah, um, legal, and I would use like that uh, magnetic tape and put a few pieces on here, the teacher could use it for paper clips instead of uh, I know, pins. Oh, that's so, so cool. That would work cool. Clever. Clever, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> hey, the day's young. We'll see. <laughs> we just started. <laughs> this has been fun, though, huh? Uh -huh. Hanging out and doing now? this together. Yes. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to gather this. Everybody get, all of Hayden's teachers are going to get a homemade thing question this year. Yeah. <laughs> They would probably like it. So they cut theirs a little bigger than I cut mine, but mom. I'm going to survive. <laughs> Don't cut it as small as, as I, I do, Liz. Liz. <laughs> that's probably not the best thing to say right now, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Be creative, just like you did. Mm. Okay. 
All right, so you guys have your, um, you know what, I guess I should probably... It'd be kind of interesting to know how all of these great inventions okay. in our world Let's came about by yes. people going, oops. And it does not Lots have to be a perfect do it. Level. Again, like I said, you're not going to see this part. Yeah, that's so true. So now, so now, like what Peyton's doing, is you can go ahead, your hot glue is probably fairly dry, so go ahead and remove the no. um, paper backing on the double-sided tape. And then put that tape side down Did you into it? your piece No, of remember that. I have to oh, do that's mine. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, I have to do mine different. I'm with you. <laughs> Stop it, Liz. Okay. And then you can go ahead. Um, I'm going to suggest using the scissors. If you, if you feel like your rotary cutter is oh, are really good, um, by all means, do that. But go ahead and cut the... Um, the batting to match the sides of your so if you can't the, the hoop and get out and actually go to a class you can and, um, still take one with the designer which is really fun mm -hmm. Liz and I have actually the, taken a few uh, classes with Kathy um, and we have exactly. always we enjoyed them showing, but a little bit is okay because well, actually what that does retreat, is and then uh, the took a class locally at Stitches Unlimited she and Beth Seal did a joint class that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Well, you guys are doing that. I should have been cutting something really quick here. Can I hide the end of this? Just so nope. I can kind of demonstrate a little bit. Okay. All right. Ah, there you are. You don't even have to necessarily. What is hiding? Hot glue guns one. work. <laughs> That's an awful trick. <laughs> that would be terrible. Oh. Your, your thread okay. down. So pretend that I did not have, very um, nice. on there. And go ahead and put your fabric right side down, Your what's going to be your front fabric, and then put your batting side down. Let's see, had I listened to that, nope, I would have had mine. Step. We don't need that just yet. You do need to get your sharp needle. This is our favorite part. It's never my favorite promise, part when um, I get a sharp needle. Oh. Strand or two strand this time. I'm convinced that's how cross stitch became my friend early on. <laughs> Tapestry needles were so I, I much like better than embroidery needles. Trans, I, I did not make it as long as I actually did learn the embroidery time. before I went cross stitch. I have a tendency to be a little overly generous with my um my thread in this step, just because I don't like to constantly start. And it's fun this so time of year driving really around and seeing. I was right. listening to your clock. Oh yeah. <laughs> Seeing all the new sheep and goats in the field. Oh, I know. Okay, so you notice all that the I babies. Cut really yep. long. Okay, I have long arms, so when I go like this and this, you get a long thread. <laughs> um, so I cut the, a really long thread for them, and um, and then they're going to put one end through the um, one end through. Kathy the always needle. gives some really so cool little tips and tricks strand. too to help you out. So pull it all the way through the needle until your ends match up, and then do that little knot at the end. Um, do the, like where you make the loop and then put the um, threads, the ends, open ends through it. They learned knot tying 101 today. <laughs> and she's doing great at it. Good job, Peyton. Need to go. I like to knot it a couple times just to have a good size knot. Okay. Okay. Everything okay? I'm not. <laughs> you can knot right, so your ends a little bit. A little bit. Then we gotta put something inside of it, right? Oh yeah. Let me know when you're and here's some too. Okay, you're looking like a pro at that now. <laughs> I certainly didn't make it. Sorry, I shouldn't have. Too generous. I jinxed her. <laughs> All right. There you go. Go stuff it. Stuff it. Stuff it. Stuff it. Okay. Um. I'm listening to the wind outside. Holy cow! I've got my purple thing. <laughs> stuff it. With my we don't need stars. We sure need the ring. Absolutely. This is talking about the ring for the okay. girls last night. We've Everybody's had several days go. here that have been overcast and rainy, and, and the barometric pressure has been low. And 
Now, I am actually basing oh, on the back side. The girls, <laughs> even even though I table. know we need it, and, when and I, I know base, the animals I and the plants the and the needle, crops need it, um, the needle goes I'm always happy when it's done. Yeah. Stitches like that, all and we the can way get to the business of sunshine. Yes. The circle. You guys okay. can go ahead and get started. About a half inch apart. And how far came from the edge, Kathy? I would say about three eighths. We lived in two salmon and little, and I love the fact that I always woke up to the sunshine. But you don't want to monsoon the season in Tucson was in the or your fall, lemon, but in this case, this would be your lemon. Almost, um, but you don't want any other so day outside of in, that season. You're far for sure you were going to wake up. You no, know, we need to be able to cinch it up and around this piece. So you can see, I'm just taking nice big stitches. So here. I went ahead and covered it with fabric. I should have stuffed it, <laughs> but. I didn't because and you'll see later why, <laughs> but Liz is doing it the correct way. She's well, I'm doing and it as I said, correct for this, my version. Oh, stop it, Liz. Um, my version, your, your version. Not so, so remember when I said you would want, um, you would yeah. want some dark fabric so, behind um, this? You would cute. actually, when they were trimming. It's like you're making a little shower cap. Um, yes. That would be the linen that they trim. And then what, what? I do then is I take what I what I did is I took this piece that was already trimmed then I laid it on a piece of black cotton and then I cut the black cotton to match the circle and then really you just treat the black cotton and the black linen um, as one so right now I would be basting through both of those layers gotcha so Okay. I'm not really pulling right now. Let's know what the stitches look like for right now. There we go. Is it easier with a thread not quite so long? Yes. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> I felt so bad I gave you these hugely long threads the first time. Well, that comes in handy. Mm -hmm. right. You're purple thighing. Definitely. Okay, you guys coming along okay? Yeah. All right. I'm we are to too. The off <laughs> and then we'll like come back and we're like, no, ready for the next step. Okay. It's almost like you need more than one, more than two hands, all right? Yep. Hopefully. Let's see. Let me know if you need me to push down in the middle while you do that. All right. And you can see, I don't have like a perfect circle. Get your little shower okay. cap ready. Yeah, and I, I did not give this well, you too much Well, still, right. so you know, better than what I did the first time. Is we're going to pull up on this a little bit. This will not be the example you your teacher holds up in front of the classroom and says, this is how to do it. Let some go. All right. As long as you can spider web it on the back, you're good. Filling back in there as well, the, the lid or the, the inner circle that we um, I have to filled with foam board. It. So it's just nice to start yeah. getting this in shape. That's what Liz is doing right now, getting it in shape. <laughs> it in shape. Yes. 100% even that it's, you know, just this is a good place. Drop and give me 50. Start getting some gathers <laughs> all the way around. Like you can see, I put in a lot, and now I'm sort of loosening it up so we can fit. That's got to fit inside there. Got that. No matter what I do, it wants to pop out of there. No. Don't do that. Okay. Right. Yeah, this, I feel like this is like a little granny cat or something. <laughs> or what did you call it, Nicole? Yeah, you want me to hold down? <laughs> Oh, there you go. Check and see Much better. Okay. Can I let me tip it oh, up just a okay? second? Let me see. Yep. All right, looking good. Yeah, I would start kind of loosening yours up, Peyton. Still a little wonky on two spots right here. Okay, because we can always tighten it some more. <laughs> okay, so then I, I um, you can use uh, fiber fill. Or wool roving, what I do is I buy wool roving that comes in one long. Big when Liz did her first one, she used wool, and now she's and doing fiber fill. I cut one of those big yes. balls up. It just makes them cringe, but this makes really great stuffing, and I love using wool in there. It's just a nice quality product. It's good for your needles and your pins when you use it. Um, you get if you have a wool allergy, for sure you can um, use fiber fill or something like that. Um, I do sometimes have a, a contact allergy to certain types of wools, and um, 
the doorbell's ringing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Probably not okay, Amazon. They don't ring the doorbell. No. Um, so what they've been doing in the meantime is shredding their wool. Oops. And you just kind of pull it apart. And we talked about this a little bit. I was telling Peyton, um, Warren, that you've done this before. Oh, good. But uh, sometimes it does A little more round sense. now. Yeah. Before it was yeah. looking yeah. a little bulgy so at the side. You really need to pull it apart to put the so lock now, in. I'll take your finger. And then you're just going to oh, cram it all here. back together. Yep. But it's and definitely a step that you should do. It looks Tight. like you got a little sheep going there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, this is just, I really like working with the, with the wool roving. Like I said, um, it's just, it's got a nice feel to it. Sometimes I do have an issue with wool. So this is a Corydale wool. Um, it's, I have found that it's the Merino wool that I actually have a hard time with. So don't seem to have a problem with the Corydale. I can touch it just fine. So I'm going to pull That's a little you can just start right right a webbing if you want to. Yeah. Well, that, there must be something they actually use in it in if she can use one wall and not the other. Oh, right? yeah. I think it's worse than a lot yeah. of because You'd think. Right. Yeah, isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. Is that enough? I will say we all kind of just did one. I really liked the amount that I had in this. That's got a nice dome to it. And then we all kind of made our first ones and... Um, we felt like they were quite didn't quite have the dome to them, so we all said we were going to try and put more in this time. So here's the trick. This is probably about the trickiest part of the whole thing. All right, kind of pull your needle and thread. I would over say here. so. And by the way, your needle and thread is still attached. You have not. Um, <laughs> so your Chinese jump rope, right? <laughs> and you do that thing with the cord in your feet. Yeah. And, and just sort of work it back into a little ball. I was trying to so Liz is lacing the back and now like in a sure spider web the whole way around. Like, I'm kind of avoiding your fingertips. Whole, um, Tell me if you, you need to move or to move the, the thingy. Middle, but you're covering the whole circle. And then this has to fit back This inside. is a cool tip that Kathy gives you in the video. Because when you're stitching something that's that square, you're just going back and forth. And when something round, you do like the spider web on the whole the entire back of it and it really helps pull sure, all those like, puckers all right. I felt and like fix I got all the puckers my wool over here and i was a little lacking and then you can right there you can so tighten it up a little too by right just now, kind of going around and want to kind of you can pull on this to kind of cinch it up take a look at your front see if you've got your that wool part right there that she just said yeah <laughs> this is definitely better um, a better amount of wool a little more wool So this is my piece minus the <laughs> minus, you could just kind of minus the pin cushion part, and, and there's the back spider web. The thing. And then when yeah. you kind of have it distributed, oh, the way you okay? Yeah. See, I turn it back, and I'm yeah. using yeah. the tabletop Don't grab the part um, to help hold needle. all this in the place, and my fingers are in the bottom. Now, we we'll do want to point out this is the concave part of the, that where we put the, uh, the foam core into the, the round inside. Um, so you actually there's like a lip right there. We want to make sure that's on this back side. And then once you have it kind of distributed where you want it, a little fiddly. Mm -hmm. When we put more wool in, it's a little harder to. It is. That is the. Oh, that's the hardest part. Yep. <laughs> They're concentrating. <laughs> okay, so when you kind of have it where you want it, go ahead and cinch that tight. And before I knot it off right here, like I said, I actually look one more time. And this would be the time when you can sort of go, yep, I want a little more here, move it around a little bit. Also, if you are working with your stitch piece, you want to make sure that you're nice and centered. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Say that one more time. <laughs> I must have missed that the first time. <laughs> and then I'm actually going to, while they're still kind of working, I want to make, I want and to And if you really my, want to no fuss, knot, no I'm mess, put a knot right here, so um, I'm take, my make sure needle. you get fabric if you're using fabric that has no fabric. direct pattern or, or, um, <laughs> line on it so that it doesn't matter tight, whether it's centered it just covers it and you're good it, <laughs> solid fabric works really well <laughs> um take a look at the front and see if it's 
uh, filled as, as filled as you want it to be and also oh, make yeah. it even. I can mess with this for a while. Uh oh, you're broke. Okay. All right. That's all right. Let's see. What do we got going? That happens sometimes. Yes, it does. So, what I'm going to do is this. Can't imagine. Been there. Actually, okay. Unfortunately, at this point, we need to kind of just re redo this a little bit, but. We're just going to put, I'm not going to like take out all your old stitches or anything like that. Okay. I'm just going to do a little band aid, shall we say. <laughs> Um, it's actually kind of good when stuff like this happens in a class, because trust me, stuff like this happens in a live class all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. We are live. We are live. And those are all the kind of judgment calls you need to make. There's no magic number like where I can say, oh yeah, put in like three ounces or whatever. Um, okay, Peyton, I'm going to do this really quick. And what you can see what I'm doing is I quickly, um, Threaded up her needle and because her thread broke and it can happen. She's that meant she was pulling nice and firm, which that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But I, I really don't want to lose out on all the work that she's done here, so I am just quickly going right over her basting lines. All right, I shouldn't be doing this for you, but I thought, well, you're quicker, you're quicker. I figured you were okay with it. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't hear everybody <laughs> saying, stop, stop, let me. Man, so I'm telling them to pull tight. I, they took me at my word. Okay, last. Well, I don't know what's wrong or if my knot is pulling through. Oh, okay, that could well be. Then you, then if it's uh, the knot, then you need to make a bigger knot next time. Yes, <laughs> or, that's true. Um, that happens also. When you start, yep. you know, uh, run the knot you know, through okay. the fabric and then go back through that and put another stitch on it. Do not do that. Um, can you kind of see what do I'm doing? Do only what I do, I'm not what I say. I'm just going back around. <laughs> this is probably quicker than I'm doing all that. I'm retying my knot. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but did your thread actually break? No, I oh, okay. did not just pull through. Gotcha. Okay. I'm almost there, Peyton. Okay. No, no. Okay. Oh, I'm wondering what I just grabbed. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Bin. Liz, can you grab that string off of the right. hot glue? So Careful. Was, again, there you go. Thank you. Um, I just went back over her previous stitches just to save them because her, her um, thread broke. Is there a needle on that? No, nope, just okay. the glue. All right. Good. Okay, so let's look at the front. Are you Tied. happy with that? Let's look a little more anyway, I was getting a wonder clip okay. out of my so I'm going to, again, little that basket of goodies because run that way I can. I'm going to do it before I hand it to you just because if I hand it to you, my fingers to no, that's fine. <laughs> tie a knot. Okay. Uh, good idea. Okay, so I made yeah. that anchor when, knot. When I do my finishing work at home, I have gotten so creative now about finding what, third, fourth, and fifth oh. hands. Yeah. I'll tell you what I don't have that I wish I did okay, that so my dad had. Do, of course, I would want a different version of it, but a vice grip. Mm. <laughs> so she's that would come in to, so, no hand. pun intended, handy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'll just take it. This is what happens. I do it. It's not a live class, but you know, it's good these things happen. We are. We are live. Okay, so I'm going to show you what next. Yeah. You notice I made that what I call that safety knot right there, and I did not cut my thread. Now what I'm going to do is we want to see all those little okay, so um, dents and that's divots what I use my way around. What we want to do is start that. lacing across. So mine's pull covered. all of this in tighter. And it's laced so on the I'm back, and it's not extremely even, across. but it is what it is because that's the shape of the and fabric I get. Then so. what I want to do is I'm just going to keep go. bringing my thread yeah, across, but at an angle. So I'm going to keep running my stitches. So we end up looking like a spider web on the back. So they just kind of keep working back and forth and back and forth. And every time I pull, then that gets rid of those little um, divots and points on the front. 
sweet. And I'm going to run out of thread. I have laced the back part already. And it was a little bit better results on that. Now I'm going to do something. I got a little bit to go. Okay, so you can see see the beginnings of that uh, spider web on the back. There. Yeah, we don't want to stitch, okay? Like a lot of times, like what I, I show, whoops. <laughs> when I'm lacing the back of something square, like we'll do side to side like this and then side to side. We don't want to do that. We want to just keep turning and going all the way around. That's that was the best a clever, way to get rid of those, that's a clever um, trick. puckers on the sides. Oh, cute, Liz. Okay. Peyton's got some cute, right. cute nails. One more, and I think I'm gonna have to get a new thread. All right, yep, I'm running out of thread, so I'm gonna run my needle through the cotton, make a loop, and put my needle through the loop. I'm gonna do that twice, at least twice. A lot of pressure on that knot. Okay, so so far you can see where I've actually laced and how it makes the front start looking a whole lot tidier. I'm gonna get some more thread. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> that did not sound convincing, but um, yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna do something. What are you going to do quick? I'm going to quickly tack my bottom to my top before I put okay. it in there. Ah. And then I don't have to do the glue gun thing. You don't want to do the glue gun thing. You don't want to do the glue gun thing. You doing okay? Do you need an extra hand? Yes. <laughs> I'll take my socks off. <laughs> Hands, feet, whatever. I'm actually. Now, some of that will start. Surprised um, I've been. I know you're trying to hold it all up. This but once you start reaching it, it'll start. Um, oh! That will help bring Which, it all together. Up until wow. now, it has not been problematic. There we go. Still not. Okay, good. Whew, good. I wasn't sure we were going to get that laced mm -mm. or threaded. Can I make a suggestion? Let's see you guys go ahead it. and, um, no, you're fine. <laughs> pull really tight. I'm going to hold here. You pull tight. I'm going to give you an extra hand. Ah, yeah. see, that, so we did that again. Okay, that's yeah. okay. Um, it pulled through the edge of the, of the um, yeah, okay. fabric. Okay. So I wonder what people watching this video yeah, so this base real quick, aren't right going to be stitching it. on while they're watching. I want to be at least probably about yeah. half I wonder if to a half be... inch from the edge of the fabric. I'm grabbing their supplies and there. trying yeah. it out or so let us know if you do viewing and send making them. mental notes yes. for when they do it send, send us a picture <laughs> yes let me know if anyone makes the same mistake i did okay. <laughs> i hope so plan on it <laughs> just go with it oh uh, mercy It's okay. Kathy said it's okay to make mistakes, so it's all good. One more. There you go. That's what I'm saying to myself. Okay. So now what I want you to do is pull. Okay. All right. You're good. Pull. Sounds like a okay, ski shot. Yeah. Pull. Can I see real quick? I want to see why yep. that's happening. That used to be my job. I got it. Yeah, Did you? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's your knot. Okay. My knot again. Your knot needs to be a little bit bigger. That's okay. okay. I'm going to go and go beyond that. Okay, there. so oh, since yeah. I messed up, sure, um, yeah, this is mine so far. <laughs> I went ahead and fit my bat back times. on. A nice big knot. There's my front, but without any tight. puff. There's no pin and, cushion there. Um, I went ahead and stuck a piece of ribbon in between the front and the back hoop because okay. I'm going to use this so, as an ornament. I'm going to try and get you beyond that point. What okay. I did is so I, instead I of making a pin cushion, a your knot. I will have okay. made an ornament. Now I'm going to put that anchor knot in. So you okay. can get to the next steps. Just, okay. I think that's going to, that would solve your problems with just a slightly bigger knot. 
Okay. So the very first time when we did this, you're not actually ripping through the edge. Backing up a short time. Yes. You're pulling, um, you're pulling nice and tight. I and made a big here. mistake okay, that so I couldn't correct and use a four inch hoop any longer okay. because I had cut too a close to my stitching. So <laughs> that it, it did not fit <laughs> centered in my four inch hoop. <laughs> Liz did hers correctly, and okay, she'll so show you that beautiful here, piece in just a few minutes. I had to come up with something different because of the mess up. So luckily I have these, or I had one of these little hoops. I don't know what, what this is. What do you think, three? Yeah. I think, okay. I think it's like a three inch. Mm -hmm. So when I saw this, I thought, well, maybe I can still save this somehow. Okay. Um, and so what I did was I took the um, the inside part of that hoop. I went ahead and still okay. cut the chipboard, like Kathy oh, said, really laced good. it on the back and everything. And then I pressed it, right. and I and I put the stuffing, the batting in here, or the um, no, I should go here, uh -huh. fiberfill, fiberfill yeah. in there, to give it the dome shape. Yeah, you just, you and uh, work across then your, I stuck it in, in into it this inside hoop, working your way around, put a piece of trim around the outside um, of it that I thought matched well with the, the design. Opposite and side, what I'm going to end up side. doing is making an ornament. So I'm going to attach this small one to and the, the center here of you're basically just trying to get rid of those creases and this and, and just make an ornament on the edge. It's so cute. So. And sometimes I find if there I you. 3D. Put my needle 3D. Right through the middle of the pleat or the That'd be okay just to glue that on, don't you think? It, it helps the yes. most. Yeah. And, and then you and then it smooths all that out. I have a little baby glue gun because I don't I don't have a grown-up glue gun yet. I had that little one too um, for like retreats and travel and classes and then I have my big one my monster. I don't want to use that. I'm just going to use that. Okay go ahead and knot that. I'm going to use this. I think you'd be just as well off to use either. I mean I, I think it would work well. I mean I know it won't dry as fast but I like this better. I'm just working back and forth. Hopefully this is uh, allowing you time to sort of finish along with us <laughs> as you're watching the video or stitching. Or correcting your mistake. This is a little different than my usual videos. We're working on version two. To mm -hmm. Pick up a whole lot more for. Mm -hmm. I like doing this format. It's, it's kind of I have made class. so many pin cushions lately now. I'm thinking to and myself today when I was leaving, now, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to put a pin cushion next to every chair. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know a stitcher lives there? <laughs> Just look for the pin cushions. And, then and what's really funny kind of is sort of I see never had a pin cushion next to my chair. Like oh, no? Mm -mm. Spider web never. You end up getting. But then um, you can look on the front and then I had, well, some nice edges I had one of and those little gadgets that would go over the edge of your oops. chair or a couch oh, arm so, like or I've something, a, little, a padded arm. Oh, yes. And it had a tiny little rolled fiberfill pillow attached to it. And then you could put your needles in there. And I had yeah, used that for quite some time. Through the fabric, and, and I never loop. thought about, so uh -huh. never thought about it, needing to make a knot and tighten it. Now I'm gonna do it at least a like pillow, said, at least per se, or pin cushion either. And then and I can have that. Next thing I know, all right. I was looking at all these There's just another the, button company pins, and then all the pin cushions, and then thinking, I need cross stitch. <laughs> Why do you need a pin cushion? And then I started to realize, well, you've got your cramming right, pins, you've got your preloaded needles, you've got Actually, all those different really things that you want to stick okay. next you've got to all, you. Mm -hmm. And you can tell that because you've got all, there's really no open, vacant spots where like, oh yeah, you could get another If you're the only one stitching in your house, then and all your edges look good. probably not going to fit. You're doing that the whole way around. Just four spots. Oh, oh, gotcha. Yeah. You're a great girl. And I'm just ending it and starting it. I like my grays, I like my pinks, but you know. This is a cute ornament. Mm -hmm. I am. It's I adorable. Like it. Okay, can I you should like it a lot. Mm -hmm. 
because um, I want to tell them what they need to do next is actually the very same spell step. this L I Z um, two this Mary kind of thing, but with your round. Oh, it is cute. It is. It's really pretty on your tree next year. Yeah. And this is just a four inch very round cool. mat. Yeah, this so is cute. Pick your, your next I wonder what Kathy's gonna make. Oh my um, god! I'm sorry, I messed up. Drum roll. Oh, oh, you oh, did not. You so, corrected all right, the there's my uh, fabric. ornament. Blue boots. <laughs> Very cute. And yeah, it is cute. There it is from the side. This time now, remember I said the first one would have been your linen. This and one really will be a pretty coordinating. From the back. So go ahead you know what you need to do out. now? What? Get some cute. Looks like a little hat. The why I'm gonna oh my gosh, it does. It looks this. like a little hat. A bonnet, like a, we can get you going like back in the day, but I was going to say, make it a stitcher's so ornament, you know get yourself do. some of those pretty little <gasps> Just Another Button <gasps> Company pins, yeah. and put them in there when you're oh, hanging. Oh, good idea. That would be so Perfect, cute. yes. Good idea. And you can see I am not being real good specific, idea. lining up. I am just really kind of eyeballing that. That's cute. I want, I want them to see how it was supposed to be done. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, here we go. Oh, mercy. This when is cutting your circle on the, first one, the one that I did. In, don't cut it too close um, to the circle. That was our, our was Christmas awesome. design. Oh, so cute. Quarter. And then I backed mine with a solid red. Now with this well, one, solid, get, but um, it's got a yeah, design to it. Yeah. And then I pulled out some of Deb's little pins <laughs> from her pin cushion and stuck them in just for fun. So there's my so, pin cushion, and that's the profile. Very cool. Very cool. But, um, and like we said, it'd be so cool to, I mean, you could paint your hoops. Um, you could put different trim. Like I put ribbon around this little one. You could put, you know, trim around both sides if you wanted. And I'm going to be... There's so many different things right you could do. And I'm going to put some ribbon on this around. one, and I'll show you yes. what this one looks like. And I also that um, is so cute. just so that's the biggest, for that's the biggest uh, difference. information purposes. Okay. So we're gonna get going on this that. one is also so tacked. I didn't on. use a glue okay. gun on this one either. Um, okay. Once I put and it in there and it fits so flush inside the back of the hoop. Let's see. So I thought, point, I don't know why I would want to put all that hot glue on there when I could just tack it. Okay. It's, it's certainly not going to go anywhere, and it's a nice pedestal. Yeah, it will once it goes in the, in the outer hoop. Oh, so that's oh, yeah. kind of what our, okay, everybody show your backside. <laughs> your paint. Show your backside. <laughs> no funny ideas. <laughs> um, okay, so that's kind of, you know, not necessarily real pretty, but that's what it looks like because nobody's going to see that. So, so what we did is we uh, first laced this. Would be so the would you like to do the honors of tying my ribbon on? Round, oh, sure. Okay. Um, piece of mat board. Okay. Deb's better at tying things than I am. Which ribbon are we using? No the this color or the white? Kind of what the back of that looks like. Oh, okay. whichever you think yeah, is yeah, best. You said inside. too about maybe so doing both. Whichever you think looks best. And then cut off. You guys are all good to go on that. Oh, that's not good. Tie that one around your. Eye. I did the funniest thing. I took my ribbon, made a half hitch over the okay, screw so to cover the screw, pulled them to the front, <laughs> and then tied the bow. Is that how you want me to do this one? It doesn't matter. However, you want to do it. Um, they don't have to be the same. And we are ready to uh, fit the outer ring onto this, uh, the, the stuffed round. You probably need to undo your. I did it the other way. Did you? More, yeah. Don't do it. Uh, undo it. Like so, so that the, the I did it so out. this came across the front. Do it just so you can. And they came out the bottom. Put it over top. All right. And then once it's in there, go ahead and tighten it up again. Tighten it as much as you can. That's a fun fabric. There. There. I okay. know. Oh, yeah. Make sure that you're. Almost looks like is, a little um, like upholstery yes, fabric yeah, this is the one the one bigger the than the Yeah, I mean, there's so many different things you could do with this. Her words go that way, and her, um, the hoop screw is at the top. Okay, mm -hmm. and I would say tighten it until you... Kathy has a couple different more. finishing um, videos Finish. that are very good. The more you fill this, too, you'll probably notice that you don't get it as, as have to screw it as tight as you did last time, or screw it as much. Okay. Look at so that. We got all kinds of stuff done finish. today. Yes, we did. Um, I was I thinking to myself after we had our goof. Well, I mean, it makes a pretty 
I was thinking, we didn't goof. What? You did it exactly. But I was, supposed to. I was thinking that this you is fun good. because we always talk about the fact that if we go somewhere to take a class, we want something finished. Well, now we have a finish. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, that's so true. Yep. A lot of times you'll go to class and, you know, we'll learn like a stitch or two or get the kind of layout of how it's going to be put together but you leave and you still have to do it all yeah you take it home in your bag that you came with and yeah hope you have the five minutes it takes to do it at home yes that's the thing you, know, you make the time to go away and do something and then you get home with nothing yeah yeah so that's you're right this was fun because you actually got to finish this is really cute I love that color with that. That's so yes. cute. When it lays, um, when it's on your so there's Liz's finish with her fabric on her four inch hoop. Careful, it might not be dry. Oh, okay. Because I didn't use them. Oh, the top of it. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was thinking of that. Yeah. Even. And um, yeah. I did the same thing for this one. Very clever. I'm, I and love that idea that you have about the pins. I cannot wait to do that. That's also another reason why I so had you cool. cover that. Um, I actually, just to make the this looks the like, thing. these look like mistletoe okay. leaves almost. Right. So, um, yeah. what we do but I have some holly here. pins that have groups of three holly um, with two green leaves, one on each here. side. Um, I got them a long now, time ago from the thread basket when they were in um, Lancaster. Mm -hmm. These actually are, are pretty decent. If I can find them, I'll show them to you. Okay, thank solid, you. So it's not going and they're anywhere. Um, more of a muted uh, color, not uh, not real bright. Mm. So I think they would go pretty table. with that okay. natural background. That is really here, pretty. So you Thank you. Like so that was fun. That was fun. Kind of Minimal here. mess. Um, if you exclude the glue gun, there there's no mess at all. Yeah, your, yeah. Um, no, and I, we had all of these supplies already. The only thing I had to buy was just the four inch hoop, but we had everything else. So, and then I even had the the, the little mess up. Put it <laughs> yeah, the little three I mean, inch job. Oh my gosh, I had no idea I even had that. Yep. That was awesome. So, all right. So, now what I can do this. is find all... another fabric and I can. <gasps> you could! Pop one on the top of that one. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's Just pretty cool. use the fabric on the yeah. inside. Yeah. Hold your, oh, your third one up there. There we go. Look at that. Three Same different time. ways oh, to do that. Voila. There's more than one way to skin you know, cap. There is. <laughs> Or so an ornament cool. or a pin cushion. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This was really cool. It was. Thank, Thank you, cool. Kathy. And they're all finishing theirs. That looks great. I do love that fabric that uh -huh. That's really pretty. And that red Very pretty. And I oh, know. Is pretty too. Oh, yeah, because she painted her hoop. Mm -hmm. And that's because, really pretty. You yeah. know, I just, what's, yeah. what's a, a fun little finish without some sort of embellishment? I just put a little bit of uh, gray and white gingham ribbon on the top of mine. And um, very cool. On the last ones, too. What color ribbon are you going to put on, Laura? I don't know. Do I have to get the, the box of ribbons? <laughs> <laughs> well this was fun yes it was yes so um, if you go ahead and take kathy's class <laughs> yes please send us pictures let us know and don't worry if, if you if you cut your um fabric too close to your design get a three inch hoop <laughs> downsize i don't think your mom watches the glass tube I think it came out adorable. I think that is. Oh my gosh. And you know what? You're using it as an ornament, but that would be an extremely sweet pincushion. It would be. You're, you're right. But it does look like a hat this way, doesn't it? It does. Like, not with this, but. Well, in a way, it does. You know, the ribbons that used to go around and then they would hang down in the back? Oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be cute if you would have had a ribbon down on each side? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, so, yeah. Uh, hope you so cool. Class. Thank you. And this was great. Yes. Thank, thank we you hope for you enjoyed us. it with Kathy. I know, I know Peyton something everybody, oh. everybody finished them and then some. So, yep. This was fun. Yes, it was. <laughs> and now we're off to start the weekend. That's right. And as always, share, share joy with me to work. work. See ya. Bye bye.